Hey, how's it going there? So I was working on my uh, PC and I was actually running into some trouble and I'd already like installed it in the case and everything and uh, it was very hard to troubleshoot in the case. So it's been a long time since I built a PC. Um, uh, things have changed a little bit since I've done one. And uh, anyway, so I highly recommend before you assemble your PC, I'll call this a bench test, you just get your power supply outside. Um, this is on that static foam map that comes with the motherboards and just assemble the computer um, I would start with the bare minimums one kind of tricky things is if you have like onboard ports that's kind of deceiving because you can assume that if you have onboard ports that you you can use the video to troubleshoot so like one thing I was taking the card out thinking oh they'll just eliminate the card maybe the cards causing the trouble and I wasn't getting any video signal and uh, I thought that was a problem, but it, then I started thinking about it. My uh, those are for if you have a GPU that's where uh, inside your CPU. If they make CPUs that have a graphics card built into the CPU, and so if you're not doing that, you so you might not be able to access these uh, video ports on your motherboard. They might be there for if you do put a GPU in. Some motherboards actually have one in it, so you got to check your documentation. So just because you see ports doesn't mean they're actually active. Um, so anyways, the really big thing that was kind of cool about doing it this way is you need to get one of these header deals here. And this just lets me plug it in. My blue one goes to my power supply so I can turn it on. I got my reset button and I got LEDs. Um, and you just plug that into the header things. I'll, I'll get a link to this. This is very helpful. Um, that way you don't have to sit there and play around shorting out pins to try to start it. And also a really big thing, which I didn't even know was still a deal. Back in the day, we used to use uh, the PC speakers used to come with the computers. They'd be in the case and you'd just plug it into a speaker port. If for some reason they don't do that, maybe the newer motorboards boards don't actually have speaker ports, but mine does. So I had to buy a little speaker, um, PZO speaker for it, and that will help you get beat codes. A lot of nicer higher end motherboards like mine will have uh, LEDs on board for diagnostics or sometimes they'll have numbers on there. Those are the best ones. I like the numbers better than the little lights because the, the lights are hard to read. But uh, so like I have this one all hooked up and I'll just show you real quick. Oh, and then I highly recommend you get like a Linux Mint USB drive to boot off that the first time so you can check out all your hardware. So it's kind of cool. Just going to push the power button. And then you don't really need to watch anything there, it's just fancy lights. Let's see if I can get the screen there. Sorry about the lighting in here. It's uh, pretty bad. And if all goes well, it should boot up off the. See, I got my single beep code. That's old school there, that means every system checked out okay. And the nice thing about Linux Mint is it's very. Uh, most of the Linux distributions are very good and they don't have to worry about drivers and stuff like that so you just get the user system right away. There my sound, I could hear it, I don't know if you heard that. Um, and then I can get out on the internet because I got my network pl plugged in and it, it already says I'm good to go here. There you go. I've been using this uh, website called Starting Page. I like it better than Google it protects your privacy a little bit. See if I spelled it right. Just start using it. Yep, so it's working. And this is the uh, same search results as Google, but you don't have to, they're not tracking and selling your info and stuff. So I'll just put in, uh, I don't know. Oops. There you go. And those um, should be the same results as you would get using Google, but you don't have to worry about all the spyware and all that stuff. Or Google selling your info and things and tracking you. So, it's all up and running. It's a good way. Also, you can test out your uh, speakers, which is kind of cool. This is a volume set at 46. If you've never used Linux, it's really awesome. I'm going to put it all the way full blast to shit test down. Front, left, front, right. So everything's working. So now, like if you go to put Windows on it, 
and your speaker doesn't work or your network card doesn't work or your video card doesn't work no it's not any of your hardware it's just some kind of driver issue with Windows anyways uh, I'll put a link to uh, I got this whole power on LED kit thing or this uh, wire harness and the speaker all came as one kit and uh, I'll put a link to that but anyways this is just a really good way to test it out before you assemble it everything and then you gotta yank it out again so now you know it's all working and put it in your case and then if you have a trouble you know it's some kind of grounding issue or something anyways I hope this video helps somebody out out there if you like it maybe give me a thumbs up and I hope you have a great night and this it's night here <laughs> talk to you later bye bye